This video will solve P equals 2L plus 2W for W. So we want to get W on its own, right? So the answer should look like this. W equals something, right? So we got to think what's being done to W, right? So what are the operations applied to W? Can you, can you name them? So W is being multiplied by multiplied by 2, right? And then what's happening? Then 2L is being added on, okay? So when you're solving, you kind of do the last operation first. It's like undoing a knot or something. You do the last problem first until, so we're going to divide by 2 last, basically. But we'll first start out with subtracting the 2L, subtracting 2L from both sides. So we get P minus 2L on the left. And 2L minus 2L just makes 0, so that's gone, equals 2W, or 2 times W. And some students like to write it like this and put the um, P minus 2L on the right. So it doesn't matter whether it's on the right or the left, so long as you have W equals something when you get to the end, all right? So now what's been done to W? It's been multiplied by by 2, right? So what's the inverse operation of multiplying? It's div it's dividing, isn't it? So, it? so the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2, correct? Now, if you divide the left by 2, you must divide the right by 2, okay? And you can't just divide this P, you got to divide the entire thing, okay? And that's because if um, if um, uh, let me just make up something real quick. If you had um, um, you know, let's say ten dollars uh, minus um, um, a, a bill of six dollars divided equally amongst two people, you have to divide the whole thing because that's a whole four dollars over two which is four over two which is two dollars each you can't just say I'll take my ten divide that by two and then subtract six because that would be five minus six which is negative one all right so that would be an error to just divide the P you have to divide everything there's a common mistake so when I do two W over two makes W so I have W equals P minus two L over two all over 2, right? So that's correct. So let's go over a couple of things. At this point, we also could have, if we wanted to, we could have divided each individual term by 2. That's another way of doing it, and that's, a, that's fine as well. P minus 2L. So we could have divided this by 2, and divided P by 2, and also divided that by 2. That's also correct. Now you get W equals P over 2, minus and 2L over 2 is just 1L or L. Okay? So that's perfectly fine and that, that because we divided each individual term. So it's kind of like going back to remember you had $10 minus $6. If you divide each of those terms by 2 that will also work. That will be 5 minus 3 which leaves you with $2 which is correct. Right? Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's that. Uh, I mean, I guess I could explain it, uh, explain this fully with numbers if if you care to continue watching the video. You don't have to, but but um, let's make up easy numbers, and I'll explain this whole thing even even in, in better detail. Let's say L is like the number three. So you got two times uh, three instead of two L. You got two times three. And let's say W is um, 2 times 4, okay? So this is 6, and this is 8. What's 8 plus 6? 14. So let's say, um, and by the way, this is perimeter. This is a perimeter of a rectangle, okay? And let's say the rectangle is 3 feet by 4 feet. Okay, so the perimeter is 3 plus 3, which is 6. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 and 6 is 14 feet all the way around the outside. So that's what's going on. And let's say we're asked to solve for the number 4. So we want to get 4 by itself, okay? 
4 has been multiplied by 2, and then 2 times 3 is being added on. We could subtract 2 times 3 from both sides. Okay, and see how that's similar to subtracting the 2L from both sides, isn't it? So we get 14 minus 2 times 3 equals uh, 2 times 4. Okay. And now I can divide across to get 4 on its own. Just divide everything by 2. Remember we divide everything by 2? We can do that as well here, right? So just divide everything by 2. And you get uh, the number 4. I'm just going to switch it around. But the number 4 equals 14 minus 2 times 3 all over 2. Okay? And watch, that all works out. Because look, this is 14 minus 6 all over 2, which is 8 over 2, which is 4. Okay? So if you're ever stuck with algebra, don't be afraid to replace these letters with simple numbers and then solve it for yourself and make it all make sense with little easy numbers like that. And so this is our similar to our, sorry, our W equals P minus 2L all over 2. 4 equals 14 minus 2 times 3 all over 2, right?